Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nick and we do everything Mark 7 GTI. I've been having a a hard time coming up with like video ideas just because the car is finally check engine light free. I do have one big surprise, but I'm not going to announce it just yet. So this video will be titled Everything Wrong with My Mark 7. Now real quick, just before I jump in, I just wanted to say thank you guys for 1.9 thousand subscribers. I remember last year when I started with like 20. Let's get into everything that is wrong with my Mark 7 GTI. We're starting on the back. Um, you guys might be able to see it, but this is one of the first things I tried to do, which I'm really, I'm still irritated at myself for trying to do it. And I, I, I has aft it, fuck, has aft. <laughs> half assed it there we go i have i have asked it and it just ruined the back the paint um i had the oem tail lights on here when i first got the car and um i wanted to just spray tin them i shouldn't have did that when i did it i went too heavy and it dripped onto the paint and it basically burnt into the paint of the car so i have these marks like all over you can see here yeah these marks here and here it just literally doesn't come out it's like all up in the trim here you see all that black shit this isn't a mark that's just dirt but all this is like spray tint it's here it just i've literally tried everything it's it's in here it uh it leaked down into here and this is like me trying to rub trying to rub it off i covered it with a fucking what is it fast it's over on this side too uh, right here like me trying to get it off and it's just there's nothing i can do about it it is what it is oh that's nice that came off cool we can add that to the list fucking red piece because this came off nice love that uh some of it dipped onto here it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what i try guys it uh it just doesn't come off i tried literally everything from goo gone acetone rubbing alcohol paint thinner you name it I, I tried it um so that's number one not good still upset and pissed pissed at myself for doing that but it is what it is it can't be perfect let's go on to the next thing oh yeah so this is something recent this was probably last month, month and a half ago. I had my phone sitting right here, just, just sitting over top like this, just sitting right there. And um, I was playing basketball and I was wanted, I wanted to show somebody something and forgot I had the phone laying across it like this. And I uh, opened the hatch and the phone got caught in the crack here and pinched it and it broke. I put this big asshole in it, it's whatever. Um, I have, I still have the pieces that broke off. Um, I looked up trying to, you know, get a new hatch wing, but OEM ones are six to six to eight hundred dollars. I'm just gonna leave it. I might put like a band aid up there or something just to be funny, but yeah, that's number two. Big ass fucking hole in the rear hatch spoiler. Nice. On to the third thing. I mean, you guys can notice, you guys are noticing from now, a lot of this shit is just like, cosmetic defects um nothing is well you know knock on wood nothing right now is um affecting the drivability of the car i don't have any issues with drivability for once which is great but um on to the third thing i have this fucking godzilla size crack in my windshield that starts here goes all the way over up here goes all the way over this way oh yeah it's not done and it goes all the way up the windshield and i also have this one hence the fucking broken sign now into the engine bay um there's nothing back here i just want to lift this off to show anybody that hasn't seen it before this is the engine bay now the one thing that is wrong is if you look down here you see all that tape right there 
on this secondary air injection pipe hose whatever you want to call it um it's just what happens from over time these plastic hoses are just they get real like firm and hard and brittle and uh we were while we were doing the injectors putting everything back together this was getting in the way when we were done and i got frustrated and i just pull i tried to just like pull it out of the way real quick and it broke so i uh <laughs> taped it up because i was i just wasn't in the mood to get a new uh hose and i'm still not because i don't feel like it tape works just fine so that's number four a uh, broken secondary air injection hose. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't throw any. Doesn't throw any codes. Any any lights. That was number four. Numero cuatro. Let's go to number five. This is the wheel. I have a little scuff mark, and this is the only one that has a scuff mark on it. I did this like two weeks ago. Um, it's not that big, but. You know, it's not, it's not really that noticeable because the wheels are like silverish, chrome, whatever. If it was like a black wheel, it'd stand out a lot more, but I'm not driven about that. It's, it's whatever. I'm honestly just surprised I made it as long as I did without, without scuffing the wheels. And that's the only scuff I really have on these wheels. So not that bad. That's number five. Now staying on this side, number six is a big deal. If you notice in here, I don't have any uh, fender liner. It is because one day there was there was uh, something loose like on this end or, or this end, something like that. Uh, one of the bolts was loose, and I was going so fast that air got in there and literally ripped it clean off. So there is no fender liner on either side. I have pictures I can put up just so you guys can get a better visual but there's no fender liner at all i was running no fucking uh skid play for a while and i didn't like that and i found one on amazon that's an exact fit it was like 40 40 bucks amazon for the win now i'm sure you could already tell from when i was back here earlier if you were looking at the window the tint is really bad uh, i did not put this tint on nor did i pay for this shit it just it was on the car when i bought it and uh, I guess just from over time and um, the heat and, you know, maybe it was a shitty job, but I guess just over time it started bubbling in the back. Add that to the list, ching bad tint, which I gotta get fixed because it looks fucking awful. I think this is number eight or nine, whatever. Uh, inside part of this uh, the bumper there's like a little um, like a little hoop that a, that a nail goes through and you tighten it and the, the piece broke so I have like a I have the nail and then I have the, well the screw right and then I have a washer under it and then I have like this slab of like 3M tape just to get it to stick I'm trying to like I put it too close so you can see it but it used to pop out all the time and uh I mean, you stand here, like, no one's bending, like, that close to your car, so you stand here, you can't even see it, but... Oh, that reminds me. I have a... That symbol on the, on the dash because... Well, I need that little one. Because my daytime running light on the passenger side, I think... Maybe the driver's side, I always forget. Nope, not the driver's side. Yeah, it's a passenger side, so if you look here, see how that U is lit up on the outside? Um, on this side, it's not. So it looks fucking goofy. Um, so I have to get that fixed. So there's another thing. Never ends, guys. Here is another one that I forgot. Um... I bought the car with this. I don't know what that is from. I don't even know how that happened because it looked like someone like like came from the inside of the bumper and like pulled, pushed out or something. But I didn't do that. 
and then also somebody hit me when I was parked at work probably and you know their paint's on the car and it like cracked the paint so love that fuck me I guess this is a quick video guys um just wanted to get something out there I haven't posted in a while I covered the main things just luckily and I'm happy that I don't have any drivability issues right now, knock on wood. But I'm going to put a poll thingy up. And I'm going to have you guys guess what you think the surprise is. Do you think it's a new car? Do you think it's a new motor? Hint, hint. Do you think it's a bigger turbo? Do you think it's new wheels? And then, you know, we'll see We'll see who gets it right. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. Um, like I said earlier, I really appreciate you guys sticking with me and getting me to 1.9K on here. As always, stay tuned for more content. I will catch you guys in the next one. Yeah.